in the year 200 BC. Thus, the intolerable and crushing message came from the ruler of the world himself, Alexander, the son of Philip, also the son of Greece, excluding Sparta. Outwardly they sniffed and quietly snorted, but the indifference of the Spartans to these words can be imagined. Positively splenetic, that's what they were. Who could ever have thought that they were the sort to be led by the nose like cattle? The very idea a Panhellenic expedition without a Spartan in command. How risible! They were content to be excluded, to be accepted, thanks very much, and held apart. That's understandable, surely. Thus, at those stupendous and world-transforming battles at Granicus, at Issus, and at Arbola. No Spartans. No Spartans at glorious Arbola, where the Darian host was utterly swept away. The Panhellenes, victorious, illustrious, transfigured, renowned and glorified. A new Greek world established over all. Our world, the world of the Alexandrians, Antiochians, Seleucians, the Egyptian and the Syrian Hellenes, those of Media, of Persia, and the rest. Our endless horizons and dominions and arrangements, our eagerly adopted common language, everywhere we triumphed and expanded into the farthest corners known to man. All this, without the Spartans, don't you know?